So all you need to do is work out the difference between the diameter we've got and the diameter of the band. That was at one and three quarter inches. The mast was two and a sixteenth. So that's five sixteenths difference in diameter, which means we want to set the router cutter to half that depth because they're half each side. So that's five thirty seconds of an inch. Which is a bit difficult to measure. But that's about four mil. That looks about right. So all we do now is just rotate the mast a bit at a time, routering away at the mast as we go, keeping the base plate level on there. So hopefully that's pretty much for a little bit of smoothing off here and there maybe. Be a good fit for our mast band. We can saw that end off in a minute and check. The other thing we need to do is just to mark out where the slot is going to go for the mast sheave so that the main halyard can be run through it. So it's handy having a bit of masking tape there. We want our sheave to be as high as possible really, to give us a good height on our pulling our gaff up. But we don't want to get it too close to, to our mask band there. We don't want to get tangled up with the wires coming off there. The mast is looking pretty upright, so it's handy just to have a piece of masking tape there. It's very easy to mark the slot for the sheave slightly askew. And so with a piece of masking tape, you can just eye it up. Get the masking tape in line with the mast. Then you can draw your sheave on the masking tape. Using the sides of the tape as a guide. The mast is two inches diameter there, so we'll have a two inch diameter sheave. which means we want about a two and three quarter inch slot so that there's room for this, the sheave to clear the bottom of the slot and room for the sheave and the rope to go over the top. We have the the top of the sheave about there. That's plenty high enough really. And we'll mark it, we'll mark it at two and a half inches to start with.
And we've got a, we'll have an eight millimeter halyard, so we've got a 10 millimeter sheath. So if you mark the center of the tape, Come out five millimeters each side. Just eye that up and see if it's in line with the, the rest of the mast. It's just looking that way a fraction. It's the easiest thing to do there. You mark where the tape was. Peel it off and just relay it slightly that way. Eye that up again. Yeah, that's good. So that's where we're going to fit our sheave, and I've actually got a, a mortising machine which is in the workshop tucked away under the bench. I'll drag that out and I'll just cut the, the sheave slot with a, a mortising machine. It's a lot easier and neater and hacking at it for half an hour with a chisel. So, this is the moment of truth, or one of them. If we saw off the top of the mast and, and see how well our mast band fits. That's good, we're just a little bit oversized on our... So nice. Are we getting any nearer? Yeah. Just gonna get a mallet. By tapping the mouse band on, we can see where it's tight. with a little bit of sandpaper just to ease that a touch more.
It's looking pretty good. I'll whip that off and uh, sanding and cutting the slot for the sheave and we're ready to start sealing the varnishing it. <laughs> 